then I don't want this thing to shoot out of there. And it did exactly what I didn't want it to do. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing. Today we got a pretty good one. We're gonna be doing something that you should do at the start of every season. I would urge you um, to take the time before the spawn, before the really the good pre-spawn gets on, take the time, take your reels apart, oil and grease them up. Um, it's gonna help you with casting distance. It's gonna make the life of your reel much longer. A lot of us don't have extra cash to just be spending on new gear all the time. So why not take the gear you have and keep it in top shape? So today we're gonna be doing these with PC Fun reels, these PC Fun torrents. I'm gonna take these reels apart. For the most part, everything I'm gonna show you today is pretty much universal with reels. Um, PC Fun does a very good job of sending basically a schematic, a diagram of all the parts. Um, the order in which they go on. So if you ever get lost, you can look at it. Um, you can also reference this video. They have videos as well on their YouTube channel. But the big thing is, is this one, this reel right here is brand new out of the box. Um, it's never been old, never been greased, brand spanking new. This one has a season on it. Um, it's actually got some mono line on it. We're gonna pull off. We're gonna end up sp sp spooling it up with some like braid or uh, maybe even fluorocarbon, probably fluorocarbon if I had to guess. But I'm gonna take this one apart and one little thing I'm gonna do different is I picked up some spool high speed bearings right there. Um, I've got some new bearings for this one and I'm gonna do a comparison video later after I oil and grease both reels on which one, does those, do those new bearings actually increase my casting distance basically is what I'm gonna look for. But we're gonna do both these reels today. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it, the tools needed. Just hang tight, let's get into it. All right, hopefully I've got y'all at a better angle. So one thing you'll notice about these, these are the exact same reel. Number one, this one's brand new. You can see that its mags are still set to zero. It's got mag brakes. Um, and the logo is brand new. This is the old logo that I've had for, this is the reel I've had for over a season now. Old logo and you can see the brakes are set at like six and a half, almost seven. Actually that is seven. So I don't know what I had on here but I must have had something heavy on if I had to guess. Um, I'm actually gonna take the uh, line off of this spool um, real quick but that's how you're gonna be able to tell the difference. And we're gonna start with this guy of taking it apart and uh, oiling it up. Just a side note, if you uh, want to do the poor man's job of oiling and greasing these reels, there's actually a port. If I can get it to focus right there, that screw, you can take that screw off, put some oil in there. Um, it's right around the gears anyway, and at least oil the gears if you don't want to completely do this breakdown and grease them. But we're going to do the whole breakdown. Um, I'm going to start with this reel. Alright, so I've got all the mono off of this reel. This is the old reel, as you can see, with it spelled out PC Fun as opposed to the logo. This is the brand new one. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't think it would be a fair comparison for me to change out the bearings on a brand new reel and was old and greased up an old reel comparing it to brand new bearings. So brand new bearings in this one stock from the factory. We're gonna put brand new bearings in the one that is older um, to do the compare in the next video series or the next video in the series on these reels. So the tools you're gonna need, um, I've got a little mini uh, driver kit here so I'm probably or I know I'm gonna need a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver right there I'm gonna need that the rest of it should come with the reel this little tool right here it's a 10 millimeter socket that comes with the reel as well as a little bit of a uh, flathead and a pick um, I've got my Abu Garcia precision oil and Abu Garcia precision grease that we're gonna use on the reel. Um, I've got my diagram which came with it and I've got my extra bearings. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So first off, we need to remove this nut right here. We're gonna start with removing the, uh, the handle. The way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have all my tools right there. I'm gonna lay these out in order in which I take them out up here. So I'm just gonna start putting them this way like a book and when I get ready to put them back, I'm gonna go in reverse order that makes sense. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking these off. We should just be able to break it with that. And the handle should just slide right off. 
Here's a little bit of a bushing right there. Now we're gonna loosen our drag here. And there's a little trick to this. Little trick to this, once I get this nearly off, I don't wanna take this all the way off. All right, there's a bunch of stuff in our drag system. So I'm gonna sit here and do this to make sure it all falls in that, that little drag cup there so I don't get these out of order. Because that's one thing I don't want to do. If this all gets out of order, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna sit that all there. That is in order. All right, so we've got, we've got the drag taken off and all of that is in order, which is, again, good. It's exactly what we need. Now we're gonna flip over here to the opposite side. We're gonna take this guy off. Take our spool out. So we're, we're getting close to breaking this thing completely down now. now. There's gonna be a couple screws in this. There's a screw here, here, right here, and then there's another one right there. So we need to break those and take those off. All right, so we are fully exposed here. There, but you can actually see where we greased it last year. We got a little bit of grease still in there. So we're gonna start by taking our main gear off. And we'll try my best to just keep all this together. Springs are out. Opinion. All right, one of the hardest things is getting, there's a, actually a bearing right, see it right in there. That's one of my main bearings. It's gonna be this guy in the bag. So one of the hardest things is getting a small little pick like this, getting there and taking this little, little pin out. I don't know if you can see it. Taking that little pin out that holds that bearing in there. In theory, this thing should just slide right out like it just did. So that's one of the bearings we're gonna be replacing. Uh, is this little guy right here. That little guy right there. So we're gonna drop him in and uh, start our greasing and Oiling, the other bearing should already be out and exposed. Ah, not that bad. Snapped right in. And uh, before we close this up, I'm gonna drop just a dab of oil on that, that bearing right there. It already feels really smooth though. That's pretty neat. Okay, so since we're in here, let's take our grease because this is our main target here. Set that old bearing to the side. Our main target right here is these wheels, these cogs right there. Those are the ones we're really worried about. So really, if you can just put a little bit of grease in the teeth of the bigger one, again, don't be so liberal with it. Be pretty conservative. Because as you grease that one, it'll actually get the grease on your second one as you spin this. That's really about all you need. You don't want too, too much grease going on in there. That has been greased, good to go. And we can start reassembling. Only reason I'm starting with the, uh, the main cog is just because it's got so many pieces. All right, let's take this guy. We're gonna sit him back. All right, fits right back together. I got the little pinion in there. 
you can see it's all turning, it's all working. I just need to get the springs back on. Everything is greased up really nicely already. Um, from last season, I still got a good bit of grease on this main cog. We are gonna add a little bit more to it. Again, a little bit will do you. I'll do that while I turn it. Don't need to have a whole lot. We don't want grease everywhere in the reel. All right, springs go back on these little, y'all can see there's two little black raises, two little black posts right there and right there on either side. Springs are just gonna go right over those. So just like that. And uh, I believe, I believe we are ready to close her back up. So big cog is back on, right? This is where we're at. We've got all our cog, we've got everything in there. This is the bearing we need to change. It's actually our spool tensioning knob. And it did exactly what I didn't want it to do, which is go flying out of there. Give me two seconds to find it. So that right there was a uh, close call, but I found it. I've already replaced the bearing in here. The easiest way is to take the uh, the actual tensioning knob off um, and pop it out. So I've replaced the bearing in there. Now we have to seat this little stopper spring back in there without launching it again into the floor. That was kind of intense. All right, the thing is back in there finally. I'll put a couple drops of oil on it. that now we can finally close this thing up and uh, be done with this little project. All right, got that guy done. He's all strapped in. We're gonna put the spool in. Spool is back. At this point we can replace this cover. So, it's locked back into place. I'm gonna turn the mags on zero, just for this purpose. All right, so we can go ahead, and because we didn't mess with these too much, we should just be able to put these right back on the way they came off. So I'm just gonna reach in here and literally just putting them back on the way we found them. Alright, I'm a screwdriver, my little socket. Let's get this nut on there pretty tight. Then we're gonna throw this guy back on. And then this little guy. And then we're all done. Alright, now that I'm done with the new or the new bearings in an old reel. I mean, it does feel pretty good. It actually feels really good. Um, we'll peel back the tension on these. Yeah, this definitely one, this is smoother, but I'm gonna oil this one up, oil and grease this one up, and uh, I'll be right back and I will tell you what I think. All right, so I just finished oiling and greasing this guy, the new one. Uh, very smooth. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm a fan of them out of the box. PC fun out of the box. This thing's very smooth. I mean, the spool is spinning pretty well. Not too bad. However, the older reel, it does, I mean, it just... 
it does spin longer. I mean, I'll give it that. It definitely does spin longer. See what happens when we get them out. Uh, I'll, I'll get them spun up with the same test line. Um, I don't want to waste fluoro on these. It may be braid. We're going to put them on the same power rod, same length. So they're both going to be put on seven foot medium heavy ducats. Um, and we're going to take them out and we're going to cast them. It's going to take several attempts. I think if we do 10 casts each, um, we should get a good sample size of uh, if these bearings are worth it or not. However, you guys at least know how to break these reels apart now. And really, if you're going for the quick and dirty, uh, I'm just going to show you this real quick. If you're going for the quick and dirty, you just have some oil. You don't really worry. You're not too worried about greasing the gears, which you should. But if you're not too worried, the quick and dirty, here's what you need to do. So we're going to pop this guy off, pop the side plate off. Take the spool out. You're going to want to oil that bearing right there. You're going to want to oil. Let's see, do I have a pin? There's a bearing just in there, right on the outside of that little gold piece. So all that bearing, all this bearing, and take that little cap off, that little oil port right there. There's a little screw right there. Take that off, drop some few drops of oil in there, and that is your quick and dirty way to oil this reel. If you're in a hurry, that's the way I would recommend doing it. Um, save you a little bit of time. I would recommend at least once a year though, you take it fully apart and grease those gears um, just to be on the safe side. But again, not all of us can take them apart that easy. Um, that takes about, you know, just a few minutes just to take that part off. Drop the oil there, drop the oil there, put a few drops of oil in there and be done with it. You can easily get away with that. This was just a full breakdown since I knew I had to replace or I wanted to replace these three bearings. So that's why I did the full breakdown. Um, but all of my reels get at least a few drops of oil every year just to keep them running fresh and smooth uh, for the upcoming season. I recommend y'all do that too. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it removes a little bit of anxiety of breaking these reels down. There's really nothing to it, especially if you follow this guide follow the, the steps that I've shown, or you can even go to PC Fund's website, follow their guide. Um, Justin uh, did a great job of breaking down this reel as well as the Phantoms. PC Fund's got a lot of good tutorials. If you'll check out their YouTube page, go ahead and subscribe to it too. Um, really good stuff. But for the most part, breaking down these reels, whether you've got a PC Fund or not, it's universal. They're all very similar parts, very similar steps. So hopefully this will help you if you're uh, in need of some maintenance going into this season. If you want to stay tuned, um, maybe not the very next video, but the video shortly after that, I should be testing these out. I'm going to go to like a football field and cast a couple times, see if I can't get a good accurate sample size and measurement on these two reels. Um, again, a brand new out of the box versus a, I think this one's a year and a half old if, if I remember correctly with a new spool high-speed bearings in it. See if it makes a difference. You'll want to check out that video. It should be released, I don't know, in about a week or so. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below on different things you feel like you may need, uh, different maintenance tips. Um, anything I can help you guys with content-wise, let me know and I'll be sure to get right on it. Hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray. Hit the ding-dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime I drop a new video and we will catch you on the next one. Later.